inside of a chimney designated as an elevator for gang stalkers. This is Gang Stalk 2020. Giving you the most informative videos on gang stalking, which is actually a distraction of the true meaning of what's happening here. It's a vigilante society. They use the term gang stalking because you don't look for gangs in hospitals. You don't look for gangs owning businesses. You don't look for gang members that are nurses, ambulance drivers, psychiatrists, psychologists, the upper elite of your community, or the gang stalkers you fear. And they are no better than you are. In fact, they're worse. They can get together for something so negative and use taxpayer dollars because they think they are doing the community a favor, cleaning up the society, cleaning up the community so they can use taxpayer dollars by saying they are buying these tools, voice to skull, technology, to help rid the community from the worst society has. And who would benefit from this is the community, of course, if they had the right people, if they did this to the right person, and this is practice for when or if a terrorist were to move in your community, they would know how to combat it very easily. They would have the practice necessary and they will execute with, with a level of preciseness that they already know that gang stalkers can do. Now, this is the same chimney, if you look through my videos, that has a uh, elevator in it. And uh, it's down there. And I'm Freddy Fuego. I'm not a criminal. I have done crime. But they got the wrong guy. I have been chosen as a targeted individual because <laughs> someone has used her means, her contacts, to execute this gang stalking on me because I didn't want to be with her anymore. So she has jeopardized what may be somewhat useful thing to rid your community of what would be hoodlums or negative activity. But in my case, we are trying to get back at someone that don't want to be with you anymore. So I set their uh, elevator on fire. Oof, uh, 